Hey everybody, it's Dipio. And Nelly. Welcome back to Undertale. All right, we have come our far, far way through the tutorial area and we're going to meet Mama Goat. Hey, Mama Goat. Oh, hey. <laughs> I forgot. Do you smell that? Surprise. It is a, oh, okay. It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Do you like to vomit? <laughs> and but she asked us which. Why did she have to throw both of them in? Like, just, anyway. Because she's a goat. They'll eat anything. Yes, yes. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So... <laughs> oh, sorry. So I will hold... <laughs> Hold off on snail pie for tonight. Because tonight it would show you that it wouldn't be a nice time living here, but it's coming. Right. <laughs> for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. Snail Besides underpants. Snail pie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. That caught me off guard. Whoa, hey. Oh, this is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Oh, creepy. It's just a pat on the head. What uh, <laughs> <laughs> now? <laughs> You're not gonna make it through this, are I you? I am not. I am not. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Run away, goat lady. Okay, always check the rooms they don't tell you about first. Right? Oh, a mirror! It's you! You've seen this type of plant before, but do not know its name. Its name is Fred. That's pretty much every plant there is. Room under renovations. Under renovations, okay. Please talk to management. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Oh, I'll take those. Did you pick them up? I didn't let you. Do I not know this flower? Oh, I don't care about this flower. Is this your room? No. Oh, it's Toriel's diary. Read the circled, circled passage. passage. Yes. That's rude. You read, read the, passage. the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. <laughs> the rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. <laughs> That's not good. That is right on caliber with all the jokes I've been hearing lately from the kids. Ah, the cactus, truly the most sundere of plants. What does that mean? I do not know. All it right. sounds Japanese, all right. but I don't know. <laughs> Just a regular old bucket of, of snails. snails. Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. Well, she's a growing she's goat. She's big. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. Oh, will open it have that middle. other plant that we just saw? Typha. A group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. <laughs> okay. Uh, what was that word? Um, sundere. Or if it's Japanese, sundere. But I don't know. A Japanese term for a character development process that describes a person who is initially cold before gradually showing a warmer, friendlier side over time. Oh, okay. So they're saying the cactus looks cold and intimidating, but it's actually warm and friendly. Yeah. I like this. It's interesting. The word is derived from the terms sun-sun, meaning to turn away in disgust, and dere-dere, meaning to, be to become lovey-dovey. Okay. Oh, it's a water sausage. Oh, there well, she you knows go. the plant now. Now we know it. We <laughs> Now we know. <laughs> Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. Oh, <laughs> you're so lame. Ooh. You just got in bed and did. pooped on the floor. No, that's the pie. Oh, mm, oh, cold, I thought maybe it was a hat. Cold butterscotch cinnamon pie. If you thought it was a hat, why did you say, did you poop on the floor? Well, at first it looked like a turd, and you said no, and I thought, well, maybe it's a hat. <laughs> See, that's something you've done, poop on the floor, and then put a hat over it, so the person doesn't know? Yes, yes. <laughs> you, you found a hey, slice. Hey, you've never noticed. You just thought that was a hat on the floor. <laughs> There's a hat on the floor downstairs right now, which is why I'm concerned. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie, and we kept it. Oh. It said it wouldn't let me leave the room. Oh, it won't let me get any closer. Ooh, that dresser's off limits. An empty, An empty photo, photo frame. frame. It's huh. really dusty. 
box of kids' shoes and the disparity of sizes? This is creeping me out, dude. That's not good. This is hardcore creeping me out. Oh. The way that she like rubbed your saying, head and then and ran why off. Are there all these different... Did we turn the lights on in the whole place? Maybe. That looks brighter to me for some yes, reason. Yes, it does. It does look quite a bit brighter. Holy crap. Are you supposed to look at the things in here? Hold on. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 20 years. Or... 20 years? Of... 20 teen. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. So where are we It headed? looks like the, the, the... I don't know what they're called. The pillars on the staircase are all like little happy guys. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hello, Hello lady. creepy mother. It's a history book. Here's a random page. <laughs> random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. Oh, oh, yeah. As great as our king is, he's pretty <laughs> lousy at names. <laughs> the ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. Oh. Don't need to file down a shovel, for but okay. All the kids who you've hidden away in that for room. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Brand Can you name. Have it? Which brand name? That makes a difference in whether I want it or not. <laughs> <laughs> there are some white fur, fur stuck, stuck in, in the, the drain. drain? Yeah. Ew. So what happens when a goat makes your food? Gingerbread monsters. Gingerbread monsters. Oh. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. <laughs> you are so easily... Uh, determined. Determined, and but... And apparently easily intimidated. <laughs> the stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. What? Well, that's, then... Uh, that's a leap. That's yes, a leap to yes. Leap. Not that she cleaned it. <laughs> the fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. This is really feeling like... Um, <laughs> this is a trap. What is it? What is... Uh, the witch that ate the kids, Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel. Yes, you fell in the hole and now she's going to cook you and eat you in her butterscotch oh, my little snail. snail pie. <laughs> Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. Well... This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. I am wearing a denim dress. <laughs> and glasses. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I uh, What? This... This is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. 72. I actually would be interested in what the other 71 would be. Besides snail pie. <laughs> How about it? How about it? Yeah, I want to hear about the snails. Here is an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? Radula? I prefer radula. Radula. Rad for a <laughs> snail chainsaw to have a chainsaw tongue. tongue. <laughs> <laughs> interesting. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Well, bother me if you need anything else. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna check downstairs. <laughs> Don't go in the basement. Yeah, this creepy, creepy place. I told you. It's creepy, creepy. I'm along for the... Oh! oh! I think you should play upstairs instead. Oh, that is, like, creepy, like... I'm telling you, there's oh, wow. something wrong with us here, man. Hey, hey, hey! No. I won't go down. She's just gonna grab you again. It is dangerous to play here. Okay, lady, we're gonna have problems, you and I. She's gonna put up a baby gate if you don't stop. I have a toy knife. <laughs> Do you? What is it? I have to do something. Stay here. 
I bet she goes downstairs. Who knows? Or she ran off and now you can go downstairs. We asked her about exiting. And then she exited. Ha ha! You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. What? No one will ever be able to leave again. Yeah, right after I leave. Now be a good child and go upstairs. What part of I look like Chucky don't you understand? (laughs) Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they... Ask or... Will kill you. <laughs> it's like a sneeze. They... <laughs> ask or... It's like you were the... the ask or... No, you sounded like whenever you get an automated <laughs> message. They... Asgore will kill you. <laughs> they just threw it out there in all caps and red. It... Yes. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Woman. Nope. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Uh oh, do we have to fight her? She's getting stern face. Yes, she is. About ready to see her mom look. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You're just like the others. The ones whose shoes I found? Right. Creepy McCreeperson. <laughs> there is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. We do have to fight her, don't we? But we are going to be... We don't want to fight anything, though. Nope. We're going to act. We're going to we're gonna check her out. 80-80 knows best for you. <laughs> okay. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Hey there. Oh, hey. Hey. What the frick, lady? Sorry, I was acting aloof. Talk. You can think of any conversation topics. Holy crap. Holy crap. That's not possible. Prepares a magical attack. You tried to think of something to say again, but... But... (laughs) But the mitten of death... Ariel takes a deep breath. Talk again. Ironically, right. talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. That weird look. I know, I know. It cracks me up. Whoa! Okay. Takes a deep breath. Can you use an item? Um. Like you're down to 10 hit points. Don't you have some things that give you 10 hit points? Yes. Whoa! I felt like it started moving on its own. Okay, there's something to this, though, because she's not going to kill us. Right? She looks through you. They said there was a time when you might have to use Mercy, even though it doesn't look like it's an action. You going to try Mercy? I, I'm going to go a little bit farther and see. Like when you're at 5 out of 20? Oh, she, she went silent on me. She's acting do, aloof again. Let's do mercy again. Whoa! Whoa, okay. Not... She keeps adding a line, so I'm gonna keep doing it. I don't know, but you're down to two hit points, so you need to use something. Look at her face. Look. Ah, they're avoiding you. Yep. What are you doing? Every time I choose it, she doesn't actually want to hurt me anymore. So mercy was the thing we should have been doing. Yep. Attack or run away. No, you clearly, you clearly are bluffing. What are you proving this way? That you can't follow through with it. 
Yeah, I like I actually I literally you can't. can't get hit. Fight me or leave. Yeah, it kind of starts off when I when it jumps in, it starts off like moving up a little bit on yeah. its own. That's gonna get me killed at some point. Breath, yes, that would be the thing to do. Stop looking at me that way. Are her eyes changing color? Uh, they've yeah. always had kind of a red tinge to them. Have it? Okay. Or that brown it. or whatever. Go away! Okay. This is talk to her now? This is working. I'm gonna keep going. Okay. She keeps doing new things. Yes. Yeah. Oh, unless she tries to kill me here. Like you said, maybe I can talk to her now. Nope. Nope. Now you're gonna die. Nope. Okay, gotta keep mercy in her. Does she look sadder? I'm like trying to keep track of the little details. Uh huh. I know you want to go home, but. But please, go upstairs now. I wonder how many times we're going to die testing this theory on another enemy. <laughs> I promise I will take good care of you yeah, here. See, she smiled a little bit. Mm -hmm. I know we do not have much, but... We have so many snails. <laughs> see, like... Why couldn't you have made butterscotch pie tonight and cinnamon pie tomorrow so at least we could put the snails off a couple nights? Uh-oh, I didn't read what she said. Why are you making this so difficult? You're the one that's dragging this out, lady. Please go upstairs. Oh, frowny face. Ha <laughs> ha! Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. With a smile on my face. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. You think? Mm -hmm. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations... My loneliness. My fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. Oh, wow, she's kicking us out. I hope you understand. In other words get all your stuff before you go. Goodbye, my child. Well, we're determined. I can't turn around and look at her. We're like stone cold ready to walk out that door. <laughs> oh, color change. Very quiet. I wonder if that's supposed to be like... As close as this is simulating lighting. Yeah. <laughs> the closer we get to the exit, the lighter. Oh, no. Uh-oh, flowy, flowy. Clever. Very clever. I don't remember the last voice I used. <laughs> I, I, think it's, I think it's an effeminate southern one, but yes, I don't it is. remember. It okay. is. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. This time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of your frustration? <laughs> or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. 
This is so much more interesting. Whoa. That's creepy. Torio! <laughs> wait, wait, I want to come back! <laughs> <laughs> You're right, this sucks! <laughs> There's enough pie to last a lifetime. <laughs> and remember, episode one, no promise that the voices are good, just that they're going to be different. <laughs> Toby Fox. Toby Fox made this game. Yes, there you go. Thank you, Toby. I'm sorry I didn't do that in the beginning. <laughs> Ooh, nope. creepy woods. Underground, right? We're still underground? I hope not, because there's trees. I know, but... I thought we came out from underground. I'm so confused. Uh-oh. Oh, did I do that on purpose? It, like, when I walked it, like, threw me up here. I must have just... Ooh. Uh -oh. Okay. Okay. I saw it break. But nothing was there. He does good... Oh. He does good things with sound. Something's following you. I'm not okay with it. Look, what's going on here? Dude, I can see you. What a weird bridge. He's cloaked in shadow. Human. Oh, I thought he was going to kick you in the balls. Fart joke. That's how we <laughs> enter the world of fart joke. Oh okay. my goodness. Alright. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. Wait a sec. Have you heard it before or something? You turned around before I said to. Yeah. Whatever. You're a human, right? I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. And actually, I'm supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know... I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. <laughs> I wondered. <sighs> Quick behind that conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> Super conveniently shaped lamp. Stop, bro. You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. <laughs> oh God, it's gonna kill me. Yes. <laughs> She's so loud. Respect, recognition. I'll finally be able to join the royal guard. People ask to be my friend. <laughs> I will bathe in the shower of kisses every morning. <laughs> gross. That is gross. That's gross. Who's providing the shower of kisses? Um, maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. <laughs> All you do is sit and boondoggle. <laughs> you get lazier and lazier every day. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. <laughs> Sans! <laughs> Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it! <laughs> <sighs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much job to get some recognition? <laughs> wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone! <laughs> ah, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually gonna kill my voice. Yes. Yes, you're gonna have to do him not yelling. I think we're gonna have to do him with some water. <laughs>, <laughs>, laughs at his own joke. 
Okay, you can come out now. <laughs> <laughs> the bad Arnold. I had to go with the bad Arnold. Yes, it's great. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. <laughs> He's, such a, <laughs> he's, staring he's at us. such a ham. He's and I love it. He's comic sans. <laughs> <laughs> His brother's papyrus. <sighs> oh, we got some font humor. What's the hold up? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a dark cavern filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. Okay. What are these balls of snow? Snow boobs. Oh, I was thinking other round things. Okay. But... It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. No, do you need me to read these because you I just think, killed yourself? I think I might actually die if he comes back. Yes, there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Hot dog stand. Oh. Oh, same, same. Yep. All right, moving on. Oh. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Um, Wait, you up went ahead back. or back behind? Sounds. So confused. Oh, you, look. You stupid bones. Okay, we'll hit that save. Let's just check this real quick. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. <laughs> okay. Use the box. Let's use the box. Um, Ooh, a tough glove. Yeah. We don't need the stick. Probably should hold on everything else. It's health. What's um, a tough glove about? It's probably armor, I think. We'll take or it. Or a weapon. And then we can see. For, for beating people. I guess. Whoop. Oh, uh-oh. Snow Drake flutters forth. Okay. Interesting. And check out Let's Snow check. Drake. Uh oh, we got a comedian. Attack 12. Teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Oh, yeah, we gotta be careful. Oh, and you need to eat something. I do. Fight you in cold blood. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oof. Okay, item. Um, monster candy, monster candy. Oh, is that all I can do? That's oh, page one. Page 12. Um,. Butts pie? Really? Butts, butts pie. <laughs> butts pie. <laughs> um, let's do a monster candy. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, 10, 10 HP. HP. Alright, feel a little better now. Yes, we're not coming in dead. Ice puns are no problem. <laughs> 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 Alright. Snowdrake is assessing the crowd. Snowdrake, um, let's laugh. Okay. He's a comedian. You laugh at his pun. See? Laughs! Dad was Dad wrong! Was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Okay. Curvy Crescents. Not so bad. Pleased with its cool joke. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, let's just... Oh, look, you can mercy him. Show him some mercy. Get on out of here, Snowdrake. Twelve gold. Twelve gold. Getting rich. Alright, so now we're going to check out whatever the tough glove is. Info. It's a weapon. Yep. Okay, um... For five-fingered folk. A worn <laughs> pink leather glove. Okay, you know what? Use this box. Yes. Um... I don't think I want to keep a weapon on hand. It makes more you room You have your to... little toy sword. Yeah. It makes more room, because the, the goal is to be through this... Without using... You know, peaceably. So we need to uh, go ahead and back out of this. And I think meeting Sands and his loud, obnoxious brother Papyrus is going to be about the best that we can do tonight. Yep. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. And uh, this also punctuates about as far as we've been, I believe. Uh, yeah, we may have stepped a bit farther when we played. Like, like stepping through. a year ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh. See? You Oops, keep know, walking, walking around. around. Ice Cap struts into view. Ice Cap. Um, what is he? Check him out. 11, this teen wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. Okay. What a great hat. Mine. Okay, so he wants Dangerous. compliments. Whoa. Okay, ooh. Ice Cap also wants a hat for its nose. I bet he does. Compliment. You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. Envious? Envious? Too, Too bad. bad. Whoa. Whoa, okay. 
Here comes that new clothes smell. Um, okay, let's compliment him again. You inform him he has a great hat. My hat's, hat's too, too loud, loud for me to hear, hear you. you. Okay. Remember, they come back down. They do. Thinking uh, about a certain article of clothing, you think? Um, maybe if we ignore him. You manage to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. What? What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing that I can't deal with. I wonder with if he would take you secretly checking to see if you're looking yeah, at that. Yeah, see, he wants us to. So I'm wondering if steel would actually make him feel good about his hat because <laughs> that it makes it desirable. But it's not weakened enough. Oh, oh fashion, fashion police! police. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. You're gonna need to item. I think so. Yeah, we're in a bad spot already. Look at that. Two healing items used in the first area. Seems to be... Whoa, it was safe here. Nope, it's not safe anymore. Secretly checking to see if you're looking at his hat. Compliment him again. Come on, dude. Great hat. Too loud for me to hear you. Blah, blah, blah. Ugh. Oh. Oof. Secretly checking to see if you're looking. Let's keep ignoring. He's okay. desperate. Mercy. Right. Yes. There. Woo. All right. Whew. Yeah, now save. Let's Get save. your health back. Yes. <laughs> the convenience still of that lamp still fills, fills you with determination. Okay, so. All right, guys. I think that'll be enough for next time. We will check out the rest uh, at a later date. But uh, I hope you enjoy this. And if I change Papyrus's voice, it's only because I don't want to die. <laughs> So, until then, hope you guys are doing well. Hope to see you next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.